Okay, guys, this is Neon with Geeky Sparkles. We're going to go live. Yes. So we don't have to edit the video. That's because exactly why. <laughs> breaking, breaking news. This is about the, uh, the Vader Star Wars Theory fan film. And we actually, you know... We heard about it. We had so many we people. We were going to do a video anyway. Yeah, we were going to do a video on it. We had so many people asking us what our opinions uh, were on it. You know, being uh, Disney fans, being Disney watchers, and and how how, all, how what we thought was actually going on. And then, um, you know, as we were at, literally just discussing it earlier tonight, uh, Geeky tells me that it has been resolved. Yeah, our, this, friend, our friend sent it over. Yeah, the situation has been resolved that uh, Lucasfilm, uh, hey Lucasfilm has actually, well, Disney has released the copyright claim right on the video so there are a couple things going on here so just to give you a kind of a recap version what basically happened was from where i'm sitting a very standard copyright claim by warner chappelle music mm -hmm. um they are frankly kind of parasitic they do it to us all the time they do it to everybody they go around and they find things that they think they can make money on on behalf of they're kind of like the bill collectors yeah. they're kind of like the bill collectors of youtube they go around on behalf of companies like the, the Walt Disney dead Company. People. Yeah, zombie, the zombie dead, dead people. Zombie dead people. Yeah. So um, they go around and they they try to monetize every damn thing they can because they get a cut of it. Mm -hmm. You know, and they're working on behalf of companies like Disney or DreamWorks or whoever. And usually you have to prove that what they say is not true. And if you prove it, they release it. Yeah, and sometimes it can take a while. We had we had um, our uh, Shira one of our Shira videos uh, uh, claimed by them. I believe, or no, it was DreamWorks, but we had uh, we had other videos claimed by Warner and Chappelle before. We've actually had videos where we had we would have like multiple, like '80s cartoons in, and they would they would claim it. Uh, other people claim it. They're they're parasites. They go around looking for uh, videos to claim. So he did apparently. They're ambulance chasers. They are ambulance chasers. They're like ambulance chasers. Yeah. Okay. So Star Wars Theory had the video out there. He had an agreement. I don't know if it was a formal. I would assume it was. I don't think he'd go to all that trouble with all that money if it was not. Yeah, I don't know if... Uh, you know, uh, he doesn't seem like an idiot. Yeah, so if it was formal, sure. informal, what the deal was. But he did have some kind of an arrangement with Lucasfilm. He spent a ton of money on this uh, fan film. Someone said Disney does not like bad PR. No, Disney yeah, hates we'll bad PR. Yeah, we talk about like that. kryptonite. Go ahead. Anyway. Yeah. So, anyway, so what happened was... Um, you know, here comes, uh, he puts the film out there and it gets a lot of traffic and here comes Warner Chappelle. Now, sometimes they will not claim your video right away. They wait to see how it performs. They're not going to claim a video that only gets a couple hundred views. Right. They're going to be like, oh, this thing got millions of views. Let's add up the money. Oh, $80,000. Yeah, we'll, we'll take that. We'll take it. And then, well, I've had, we've had videos out there before that sat out there for two or three weeks before they actually got around but to But when it got a lot it. of hits, oh, we're taking the money. You know, it, it, you yeah. know they, they do this. They're like, you They know. do this. Um, and I'm not excusing it. I'm just saying the, the company that, that actually claimed... Well, I don't blame the fandom for executing Order 66. Yeah, anyway, I don't either. And I'm not, I'm not making excuses for anybody. I'm just saying this is how it works. Uh, Warren Chappelle is not uh, the Walt Disney Company. They just, they... They're parasites. Um, so anyway, they, um, yeah, so they claimed it, said that the, the one uh, song, which apparently he hired an orchestra and he, mm -hmm. he had, it was all uh, um, custom uh, composed right. music. So bull crap on that. Yeah. But they said it sounded too similar. So it had to have been a, it had to have been a manual. Right. Because at first uh, we thought maybe it was claim. automatic because that happens sometimes. They have detection software. But um, yeah, they hear, they hear, like we've actually had, we had, like if you, even under fair use, you're allowed so many seconds of a song and you're allowed to use it. We had a, a podcast we used to do for Disney and there was, we were within the the range of the free, you know, of the free fair use amount yeah. and they still flagged it and tried to tell us we couldn't use it ever again, which we ended up winning. Yeah. And that was but Warren Chappelle. That was, yeah, that we was used it for too. years. We used it for years. It was actually a podcast that was promoting uh, Disney and they flagged it. They took it. They took it. Well, see, I don't know. Someone said about pennies of David Disney. Yeah, I, I don't know if Disney, I, I don't really know if it was Disney who flagged it. Like, I don't think, I think it was. I think it's like a, a whole bunch of compartmentalized crap until they got yeah, to the Yeah, I of think, it. The, like I said, these, the, the Warner Chappelle music, they are like, and again, there are several companies like this. Like, we've had videos before where we've had multiple clips in, even though everything was fair use. And it was like eight or nine different companies trying to claim. We had to fight all of them. We had to fight all of them. We had to file a claim, uh, a um, an appeal to every one of these companies. Some of them were like uh, you know music companies in like Germany that had no claim to anything, but th you know they they literally had people that go around YouTube look for music so they can you know get that ad revenue. That's what they want. Um, 
No, I was saying you need to keep going. This is yeah, this is one of Disney's third party companies. Yeah. Yeah, that's what that's what happens. I mean, we get it. We've gotten what It's not just before. Disney. They actually they actually work with with several studios. Yeah. Like I said, they're like the bill collectors. Ambulance of, chasers they are. of uh, um, you know, Oh, I smell money. Go get it. That's exactly it. So the film was basically the, the biggest crime um, that this film had, in my opinion, is it was too popular. Yeah, they don't. Oh yeah, it a, was too popular. A Star Wars film that we didn't do is crazy popular. Oh <gasps> no. Yeah, and um, so then they swooped in. They were going to take it. So, uh, you know, apparently the the decision was reversed uh, today. It took a couple of days. I think what did it was actually this Newsweek article was a big part of it because believe me, Disney watches. They watch mainstream media like crazy. Well, I think a lot of people they do not like bad press. threatening to boycott completely. And this is what's interesting. People that, you know, what used to be the Last Jedi people didn't like Last Jedi. And people that were like, oh, you're, you know, racist, sexist, homophobe, prick, whatever. Um, people on both sides were like, oh, hell no. You know, it wasn't just like, oh, it's just those incels again. It wasn't that. This is like you got both sides like, oh, oh, hell no. You know what I mean? It's yeah, like you- this, this could have. Well, I, and, and I still think. Yeah, this this is not the year. I can tell you right now, 2019 with Episode Nine coming out, with Star Wars Galaxy's, Galaxy's Edge, Edge coming out, this is not the year to piss off the fans. No, um, and I do think that that had a huge. I think as soon as Lucasfilm, somebody at Lucasfilm with authority caught wind of this, they're probably like, "Oh shit!" Yeah, I'm sure they were. Like, oh shit! <laughs> How sure many subs were. does this guy have? How many subs is it? Yeah, he's got like a million and a half subs, and they're probably like, "Oh my god!" And he's actually, from what I understand, he's he's pretty pro disney star wars he's just you know he hasn't been in the uh the, the fandom menace or anything like that he hasn't been hypercritical so yeah i, I think what happened was it just took a couple days for it to actually reach a, a person with yeah, authority it at has to go through. You, I, I can't explain to you how many compartments within compartments and comp- departments and departments and departments uh disney has i mean it's just like it, it, yeah. it's 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 crazy um do i think now moons of madness says disney did this as self-preservation rather than oh, just i think being so right uh, yeah, I I, I'm, not even gonna argue. I'm, not so. gonna, I'm not even going to argue that. I am not even going to, I am not even going to argue that. Disney, no, I, I have, I, I 100% think so. Uh, to the Walt Disney Company, bad press is like holy water. Uh-huh. And like I said, I think it hitting outlets, you know, if, if people complain on their blogs or, uh, you know, mid-range YouTube channels or whatever. Well, this guy was a big YouTube channel. It still didn't matter. Yeah, it didn't so, matter. I mean. But Newsweek? It hits Newsweek. They're gonna take. They're gonna. They're gonna notice. They're gonna notice. And they're yeah, because like, they're, I think a lot of times, especially with like the last Jedi people not liking it, they're like, well, most people don't really care. It's just like an offset or whatever. It's what they try to spin it as, and because it doesn't really get covered on big, big, you know, places. Right. And now this gets in a big place, and they're like, oh shit, you know, because they're like, now, now it's out there, so we gotta do something. Yeah, and um, it was just yeah, it was a very uh, uh, dumb. I mean, I think. If he had the permission, again, I don't know. That, I'm reading the article here, and it looks like it. So, I don't yeah, know if it was said, informal p- permission or if I he had. I don't think that he was informal. I don't think he would spend the money he spent and go to all the trouble he did if he didn't have formal he didn't have formal permission, knowing how Disney and Lucas films are. I can't think he would have done it informally. That would have been. I don't think he's that dumb. Uh, yeah, I mean that's that's a huge gamble because they could. I mean they could have technically shut the channel down completely for, you know, all kinds of copyright violations because it's all, you know, owned stuff. I don't think they would do that. I really I think they, they, truly I don't think, think they would do that. I think he had an okay in writing to do it because if, they, if yeah. they honestly thought he had no leg to stand on, they would not have reversed their decision. Um, but th- I think that he did have proper, he went through proper channels and, you know. Yeah, but again, this is, you know, Disney being a many-headed beast, uh, the right hand doesn't know what the left hand's Often doing 90% not, of the time. I mean, this don't. is this is entirely true. This is entirely true. But they said there was two conditions. He couldn't crowdfund and he couldn't monetize, which I'm not surprised. I mean, that sounds exactly like what Disney yeah. would say. So, um, you know, I, I know when we worked with stuff that for pitches and stuff for them, we weren't allowed to show it until we had permission, I'm whistling there, show it until we had permission. We had to go through steps to step to step to do it, to cover it, so they, until they released it and everything else. So... They probably did say that they couldn't do those things. What probably should have happened, okay? I mean, this is my armchair advice for anybody doing a fan or anything like this. If you have formal permission, uh, upload it to YouTube and then make sure that you've got, you know, behind the scenes that they're they're releasing it. Make sure they know to tell their their uh, bullshit 
uh, you know, Warren Chappelle music to, to back off mm-hmm. um, and to, to not go after this video. Make sure that they know. Because, the, again, these are third-party companies mm-hmm. that are going after this stuff. Um, make sure that yeah, they know. So these pla- those places, one who threatened them and said they were going to put a copyright strike against them, right? It was uh, it was Warren Chappelle music, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And honestly, um, they they've told us the same thing before. And we had and, and all you do, you, we had to refute it, which we did, and we we won. Um, yeah, well, I mean, we had an example, you know, doing um, gameplay videos. We actually had now. This was about a year or so ago. We actually were given a review code. Right mm-hmm. by the, the by the uh, developer, the re- developer said, "Here, you know, it's here. It is a couple months old, early. Go out, you know, t- uh, take it for a spin, see what you think. Put the video up, and uh, it got it got a copyright mm-hmm. claim. Uh, but you know, we were given the code. It took me two weeks to get that sorted out to get the, the yeah. revenue back because I'm like, I'm like, dude, you freaking gave us the code, yeah. and then you took. Oh, whoops, whoopsie. whoopsie. Someone said about. Oh yeah, I remember when they they sued the preschool for the." Uh, the Mickey Mouse on the wall. I remember that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Disney, look, I mean, I'm not even going to, I'm not even going to miss words. Disney is, to, to say that they're territorial about their IP is one oh, of yeah, the yeah, biggest yeah. understatements. Um, and, and here's. I mean, I, this guy had balls in the first place to be able to, to even try to do something Star Wars because I would be too afraid to do, to, you know what I mean? Knowing yeah. how they are, I'd be too afraid to touch it. Yeah. Um. But again, he thought he had, he thought everything was well, kosher. He did, yeah. He, he did what he was supposed to do. Yeah. Um. But yeah, it is definitely. I think Warner Chappelle music, uh, for sure. In this instance. Um. So yeah. Just, and then and then the fans found out. And then and, and fans on. You know. I mean, because the fandom's very really fractured right now. Right now is not a good time when you have a fractured fandom to go poke the bear even more. I mean, now is not a good time to raise more shit. Yeah. When people are already fed up. This could have gone. Now he is saying, uh, you know, Star Wars theory. He did a video and um. He actually said to, you know, uh, thank Lucasfilm uh, to not attack them to whatever. Because sure I guess Lucasfilm got it released. Right. I'm, you know, I think I, I'll be honest. Well, they're I, not stupid. Of course they got it released. Yeah, of course they did. I think the only reason, I think the only reason this happened and it happened as quickly as it did is because of the backlash I think normally it would have either sat in limbo for months or not been resolved. I think this would have been like we're taking it no matter what, you know. Uh, but because of the, I think the backlash was why. Yeah, I'm 100 percent sure the backlash is why. Yeah, because we had, like I said, we had the uh, the one Shira video was, uh, and it was a manual claim. It was a manual claim because other people had done the uh, the Shira. Trailer, oh yeah, they all did the same thing and they were allowed to. But they were positive but because you know Geeky's a little bit you know loud about it and, and had the higher ranking videos and they're all not good. No, that's exactly it. Our, our, <laughs> so- our, our, our Shira, yeah, they shut her up. Yeah, the Shira rant video, the reaction trailer reaction was actually outranking the official Shira trailer. So in comes DreamWorks about three or four days, I think. After we, no, it was oh, about twenty no, minutes. It was 20 that minutes. was right. That was right. No, there was another oh, one. God, I think that they tried to get. Minutes. It was twenty minutes. So they were. It was the live stream. That's right. They were actually somebody was actually watching the video, the live stream from probably from DreamWorks. Uh, I, I would assume, given how fast it happened, and as soon as the live stream processed and was, uh, it never uh, went up. Everyone it never, did, yeah. yeah it just, they, they took just, it down. It took us three weeks. They had to have been sitting there with the kill button, but we got it back because I mean, you get it, you can get it back if you fight it. But it would have taken him a while, and and even then, it because it's Disney, it would have it would probably went a lot harder. Yeah, I was thinking. I'm sorry, we did we did a, a couple of videos talking about 80s cartoons. It actually took two or three weeks for YouTube to find it. And then once once one company found it, like all these companies were trying to put copyright claims and I refute them all and we got the money back. Uh, Grimjoy, thank you. Didn't have to do that. Uh, I don't think it's done, especially if episode two does well. Disney won't let him continue uh, to outdo them. The smartest thing they could do is hire him. <laughs> oh, yeah. I mean, that's the smartest thing they could do. Oh, thank you, uh, Garcetti. He read the uh, Shadowbinders. That's only part of it. Yes. We're, we're rebuilding our website. We're going we're to have, have the more. whole thing. There's more. We're going to have more. Um, um, we're rebuilding everything. So, um, I just think that, okay, well, he said he, he, he said he wasn't doing any more of these in. I don't know what he's doing. Uh, exactly. I would be afraid to, I'll be completely honest. He put so much into this and so much money. I would be afraid to do a follow up because I'd be like, you know what? There is no guarantee that there's not going to be a change in the guard at Lucasfilm. Maybe they stepped in this time. Maybe they won't next time. I'm not even going to chance it. Like like Brad said, imagine how bad the PR is when Disney says they love fans. (laughs) They do. And then a fan goes to Disney and respectfully asks what they are allowed to do in terms of fan film. And then they do this. Uh, I mean, I mean, I guess. Yeah, I can't. uh, Look, I mean, if it was cleared, it should have been. 
it should have been uh, not even flagged in the, the first place. They should have had some kind of release or something on it before he dropped it. I mean, it. it does happen. Like we've mentioned with yeah, game, it does we, happen. We, we it does happen game, game codes legitimately. Time. And they were still flagged even though we had we had permission. So it does happen. But um, this one's a big one. You think they would have put a like a note in or something on this. Like, hey, uh, guys, don't flag this. Yeah, but I guess the weird thing, it had to be manual, though, because I guess, the, the, I don't know if the, the score was like a nod to the Imperial March, but it wasn't actually the Imperial March. So it wasn't like, it wasn't an automatic content match. Well, here, she a said. content ID. Oh, the copyright was over music. Yeah. The problem was that William's score is lifted from Hulse uh, Mars uh, Bringer of War soundtrack. Oh, well, that's ah, not okay. good. Well, that'll get you copyrighted too. Yeah. I mean, here's the thing. If they, if they have they a have, uh, uh, program in place that if they catch music that sounds like stuff that they have programmed in, um, they will flag it. So yeah. uh, they have like all kinds of music, and if it's they they, they catch those that in certain order or whatever how it is, they know they flag it. So you have to watch that. I mean, we have the music we have to use. We have to use it from um, safe places we're allowed to use it from. Yeah, all the music host. we use, we have it's all like uh, it's all vetted, it's all taken care of. Uh, we gotta pay for it. We gotta pay for it. We pay for the music. So yeah, we have to pay um, for it. So. Um, yeah, but apparently Lucasfilm uh, stepped in and got it straightened out, and they took the copyright claim off of it, and it is now, again, commercial free, that no one's making money on it, um, that he's not making money, and nor neither is Disney, so... Yeah, well, Disney might be losing money over it, because I don't... I, you know, here's the thing, like, he's, he's basically asking people to back off from Lucasfilm. You know, this... Again, if it, this was an isolated incident... I think people would be like, okay, that's an honest mistake. That would happen. But but given Lucasfilm's combative tone with the fans over the last uh, year or two, I don't I don't know how many people are going to be willing to just be like, oh, okay, that's okay, we're we're good now. I, know. I, know. I think people are going to hold on to this, and it's going to uh, it's going to throw even more fuel on the fire. So this was again, this was the wrong year. It was the wrong for year for this to happen. <laughs> like this looks really really bad. It does. Um. um yeah, I just, I mean, with the, like I said, when you have a fractured fandom already, this was probably the worst thing you could do. Yeah. Like, and I, I still don't know if we're 100% sure if it was, like, intentional or, you know, it was, like, you know, it started out, they flagged it automatically, but they should have stepped in much sooner than this. Well, they have people out there working for this Warner Chappelle that goes around and, and they just find stuff and flag it, you know? But if they were aware of it and they knew it was coming, I'm sure he told them and it's been out there. And well, they that knew, was they stupid. They, they should have. have. They should have acted sooner than they acted. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I just, I mean, I don't know. Well, that's my understanding. Again, okay, he so said the game was in fair use. Okay, then yeah, yeah. that's fine. Yeah. Um, again, JT Vega, um, it wasn't Lucasfilm's fault, it was third party. Yeah, again, you know, and we've said before, Warren Chappelle, they 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 flagged come after ours. Us they have flagged our videos. We when we do uh clips, I think they're the ones that, you know, I don't show the um filmation. We don't show filmation Shira He Man clips anymore because they came after us for that. They took they took it because they're like, Well, we owned all we own the the soundtrack. It's like all Nintendo. I think Nintendo you use a Nintendo, Nintendo automatically takes it. Like you're allowed to use Nintendo, but they automatically take it. So it's well, I think like they a, I think Nintendo actually backed off from did that. Did they back off from I that? I think they Cause backed that's off. That's how it was. Because I think people I think what happened was Nintendo realized that like people aren't gonna play games on YouTube and give them free advertising if they take all their ad revenue and they take any incentive away from, from people to, hey, to do Paul, that. Hey Paul, I had the exact same thought. That was one of the first thoughts I had also. Just a theory. What if Disney planned this to try to get fans angry? Then suddenly Lucasfilm, for some reason, listens to the fans and swoops down and saves the day. And Lucasfilm is here to hail a hero. Yeah, you know what? That was one of my first thoughts, actually. Oh I was like, God. you know, what if this is all set up? You know, it's like I the plot of Mega Mind. Yeah. I, 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 <laughs> like, I, I honestly thought that because I was like, hmm. I don't know. Uh, there, you're gonna see some weird. I mean, we we said, um, here comes a big truck. That's a big one. Wow. Okay. We said uh, at the end of last year, beginning of this year, that you're gonna see oh, some. Nintendo did back off. You're yeah. gonna see some really. Used to. Yeah, they did. Back, I, I heard they backed off. Um, you're gonna see some really weird shit going on with Star Wars this year because Lucasfilm, uh, you know, they, they cannot. They, lose they cannot on afford this. for Episode Nine to bomb. If Episode they Nine bombs, like for Galaxy's Edge to fail. Yeah, and they're already. I think they're already sweating it. They're already sweating it. I mean. It's, I, they're, I, they are just, they are, um, Steven Alvarez, $5. Thank you. Did not have to do that. Um, it got a warning that he, if, if he contested his channel, it would be struck down the video removed. It, it that is. is the standard warning. Actually, I will tell you. Um, and I did look at that cause I'm like, wait, did, did Disney actually contact him? No, this is that Warner Chappelle music, which again, they are freaking, they're like the, we get this all the time. um, they have done this to us too. 
they said this could potentially happen. Let yeah, me see if, if I can find maybe, it. If you, don't, like, if you don't listen to our demands, we may possibly you'll give you a strike on your channel, and you might lose your channel. Well, one, one strike from them isn't going to make you lose yeah, your channel. Yeah, th and we've got the same thing. We got the same thing from, from the same people. Uh, they said if you attempt to appeal, Warren Chappelle refutes his claim, he could potentially get a copyright strike on his channel and so if you attempt and to lose fight this and not just let us take the money then you might lose your channel it's like it's no. just like bill collectors they're, they're just Assholes. like bill collectors they are they're just like bill collectors they go around and they try to shake shake creators down for money because they get a cut they get they you know they give the, the lion's share to the studios or the publishers or whatever but the warren chappelle gets they get a cut of whatever mm -hmm. they shake down it is, from it's YouTube. like what it reminds me of the zombie debt collectors um, that, you know, they go around and sometimes they don't even have the right people and they're, they're harassing them on a, a debt that might be 10 years old. And then suddenly you, when you, when you owed a hundred bucks and you, you know, if you forgot to pay it, now you owe them a thousand bucks and they'll, t they take all of it. They bought it for 10 cents. And then if you pay them a thousand bucks, they'll take it. It's just, it's that same kind of practice. Yeah. I mean, it's just, it's stupid. And a lot of times they go after the wrong people anyway. Um, someone said, uh, not just struck down, but have his channel removed. Yeah, if you get three copyright strikes, they your you, they'll yeah. take your channel down. Yep. And I think, I, I don't know exactly what, now we've never got a copyright strike. We've had copyright claims. Mm -hmm. um, so what they're basically saying is they made a copyright claim. If he argues with them and he is found to be in the wrong, then they'll convert it to a strike. And if you get three strikes, you're basically thrown off of YouTube. Uh, and I think the strikes is sort of like, like points on your driver's license. Like I think it's like, I don't know if it's a 30 day or a 90 day window. You basically cannot get three strikes within a certain time frame now i know this happens a lot especially with people who do uh content like reviewing um reviewing movies and stuff we, we saw it like nostalgia critic i know a couple mm -hmm. of years ago he ran into trouble where all of a sudden like all his money was gone because he got copyright strikes and they were not going to give him any ad revenue because mm -hmm. you know everything was okay before and then some one of these companies came in and started claiming right. all, all his stuff um so oh no we react to shit we can still react to shit we do they just tried to shut me up once and it didn't work because i just came back like a little bit later with a whole other video and did it again and then i got both videos back yeah we actually so got, we I actually did but it still so, it still took three weeks it took three weeks to get back oh mara jade's my favorite someone said about uh what was it, like legends or something i like mara jade yeah mara jade's awesome mara jade's my favorite yeah i just hope they don't ruin her and they, be, they, they bring her back in they, nine they better not ruin her I will, they, well they, it's they will already be screaming. Lost, I was like i don't really Care. No, we can we can. Tolerate. I do care. I do care about Mara Jade. Don't you kill Mara Jade? Don't you ruin Mara Jade? I will. Larry killed her, but you know what I mean. Don't you ruin Mara Jade? Yeah. You know what I mean. But, uh, we yeah we can totally react to Shira. There's just nothing to react to. The show uh is is over. Um, when a new batch of episodes come, I don't. I don't or know. when the media decides suddenly the, that they want to stir it up again and, and say all oh, the old fans are this that and you know some ist of some kind, then I probably will say and, something. And again. we'll be there. We'll be there. I will be there with my pointy stick going. Stick it up your ass. <laughs> so, <laughs> so um, JT Vegas said, I have Warner Brothers copyright claim a clip of uh, old new Thundercats. Yes, yes that happened to us too. That, yep. Our one Thundercats roar reaction video, I, I had side by side the intros and I didn't have the music playing and they, they, they took it. No, they oh, took someone it. Said she was, no, no, it's not. They're getting another season. Well, it technically I think it's like first season split in two. But they're technically getting more. Wait, um, is Shira dead now? Uh, yeah, they're getting. I, you know, last we heard from Stevenson, they're get, that they're doing season two. So. Okay, now we did two videos on this. I'm gonna bring it up again just to bring it up. Ghostbusters. Yes. I, what we can hope for is that they Ghostbuster Shira. That they basically, you know, pull the plug on this show, and then mm -hmm. we forget about it completely. We step over it, and then we create a new Shira. Uh, show that is more like the original. I'm Shira. not holding my breath on that one because Shira. Is, I mean, I was surprised they got it over. They didn't do Masters of the Universe again before they did Shira. I was so excited because we got screwed out of Shira in 2002, and now I'm like, now they'll just shelve it again for you know 15 more years and not do anything. Yeah. So, uh, but yeah, I mean, the, the well, actually, the Ghostbusters thing actually gives me hope though that these student maybe these studios will start freaking listening to people. Like if they won't listen to people. You know, and just try to dismiss them as being just a, a, a vocal minority. They will listen to um, the empty, the empty coffers. I well, think when their it. movies and don't think, perform and their comics here, don't sell. I think the reason they actually did, I think they were going to probably just not do anything. And then, and then when people, you know, were, the fans were going to like, we are going to boycott. We are going to. I mean, there was already a call for boycott anyway, with a lot of people mad at the Last Jedi. Yeah. But um, this this one went far beyond that. Now you got both sides that you know because the fan has kind of been split. People on both sides were like, oh hell no. You know, and then it's like, okay, well, we'll just ignore those who and blame it on them being racist, sexist, whatever. 
And now here comes the people that we, that are our buddies, the ones that kiss our rear, and they're mad too. So it's like we're going to have to do something. Yeah, I, I think before, I mean, yeah, Lucasfilm cannot afford to make any missteps. Um, somebody say, can we make that term Ghostbuster? Yes, that is a that is a new official Clownfish TV term that's going to be in the Clownfish TV lexicon. When you Ghostbuster, when you Ghostbuster a franchise. You pretend that the really bad episode never happened. So the Halloween series, Halloween three, got ghostbustered because they stepped you would over. It happened before Ghostbusters, but, but no, they stepped over <laughs> Halloween three because Halloween three was the oddball in the series. It had nothing to do with the first two. They stepped over it and continued the Michael Myers story. Uh, same with uh, Highlander two. It was terrible. They just kind of pretended it didn't happen. Here. I, I did hear about this. Uh, Nicholas says a new trailer was released for Star Wars Resistance season part two, and it actually looks more like Star Wars in the first half of season one. I was hearing that. I heard. I was reading an article about it, and they said they were trying to appeal to older fans again. So I, I, I'm thinking somebody's learning their lesson because they said that that's why they were trying to change it. I forget where I read it, but I was going to talk tell you about it. And I forgot to. I'm oh. talking to you, Neon, um, oh. because I was busy. Okay. But um, they said they were trying to to go for older fans again. I'm like, it's almost as if. You piss people off and you lose money. Can you imagine? Yeah. Yeah. It's, I think, I think, I really think we're, uh, thoughts on Ghostbusters. Actually, Tristan, we did two videos, uh, last night and today on Ghostbusters 2020. Yes. Uh, Twitter is, is shrieking over Ghostbusters oh 2020 How already. Come? Okay. Now my question is this. How come when people didn't want, didn't want the Ghostbusters rebooted for 2016, that's bad. How dare you? How dare you? You're all wrong. You're all this, that, and everything else. But now people are like, okay, so they're like, we're going to do another movie, but it's in, it's in the original continuity. And now, how dare you? How dare you? I'm like, what the hell? Literally. There it's like, what all? You're not, you know what I mean? Uh, you can't have both ways. There was, a, there was a, a guy who works for Marvel. He was on there, and he's like, well, it's not that... Uh, I forget the exact tweet. Um, I, I would have to go digging for it. But he's like, well, it's not that I, do, I wouldn't like to see another Ghostbusters movie set in the original universe. Um, but I know all the wrong kinds of people. Like I said, I said in our people. other video, who the hell decides who the wrong kinds of people are? That's what I'm understanding. What, you tell me, who are the wrong kinds of people? People didn't agree with you the first yeah, time? Yeah, pretty much. That's the wrong kinds of people? Yeah. And it's like, there's a lot of people who don't even interact on social media at all. Who didn't still go watch the Ghostbusters 2016 movie, which is why it bombed. Yeah, it bombed. I mean, you can't blame everything on the, the, the small percentage of people on Twitter. You know what I mean? Yeah. You can't. There's a lot of people in the general world out there who did not go see the movie because they thought it looked like garbage. You know, you can't blame it all on people on the internet. Nobody wanted a Ghostbusters reboot. Nobody wants to see Ghostbusters rebooted. No. Especially not the hardcore fans, but like the general public was not begging for a complete reboot of Ghostbusters. No. Like and the thing literally is, nobody asked for that movie. They could have done better. I mean, even the fact they made it all women. I mean, go, make a mixed cast, you know, something like that. But no, no, they clearly are going one way and people were like, oh, hell no. You know? Oh my God. Uh, okay. So let's try to read some comments here. Um, so wouldn't it be better if Lucasfilm did Star Wars multiverse plan where they continue both sequel trilogy and legends? Uh, yo, I, 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 I Mar J comes back. I would, I would be for it. <laughs> I would love, I would love to see them Ghostbuster the last Jedi and just pretend it didn't happen <laughs> or pretend the sequel trilogy didn't happen. But I don't think that's going to be the case. Um, do you watch Tsunami on Adult Swim? We oh, used to. Yeah. Used to. Uh, okay. Perth comics. Hopefully, Ghostbusters 2016 girls appear as ghosts. Oh my God! Could you imagine how upset they will not do that if they had like a Holtzman ghost or something? They won't do that because oh they my said God. these are different. They said they're oh different continuities. Now I will when say this: continuity, this, they died. I will say this. Um, I will give him um, Jason credit for this. His name Jason, right? I got it right. Yeah, I will give him credit, Jason Reitman. Yeah, give him credit for this. When he was asked about it, he was very professional. What he said, he, was. he said, "I think there's lots of room for stories." Um, in that universe, mm. but my stories take place in the same continuity, basically, as the originals. So he's not saying he didn't even poop on them. He could have, like, they poop on everybody else. He didn't. No, he didn't. He was very, he was very diplomatic. Yeah. Now, here's the thing. Everybody's like, oh, Ghostbusters is, they were working in secret. I guarantee you, the week after Ghostbusters 2016 bombed, there were phone calls being made. Probably. And the reason, the reason that they did not... Uh, that they did not say anything about it until now is, can you imagine, can you imagine the shrieking on the internet if they said, we're just going to pretend that 2016 Ghostbusters never happened? And for all the people shrieking about how great and, and you know, about 2016, apparently they, not for them didn't go see it. No. I was like, if you went to see it, you, you, Money talks. it wouldn't be the issue. That's what people, they don't understand. They're like, well, you know, um, 
Let's see here. Dave Floyd created time travel. Oh yeah, that that I just hope they don't pull a Star Trek because now they're going to screw up Picard because of the time travel. Yeah, thing. yeah. Now he's somebody um, different. Could the new Ghostbusters be similar to Extreme Ghostbusters? That actually would be oh, pretty cool. Oh, I was going to tell was, you too. But... I did a story on this on our DRES um, blog today, and they said also in you know in addition to the third movie, there is an animated series being worked on that will come out after this for, with a, with, a, with a, another team in place on it. Okay. So there's going to be another animated series. It's at the bottom here, actually. If you go down here, they talk about it down here. Um, let me find it down here. Okay. Uh, it's on here. I swear. Well, I think I think. But, but, okay, no. here. Sony is also developing an animated Ghostbusters. Oh, it's a film that will come out after a new live action project. A different team will be creating an addition to it. So they're doing another animated, another animated Ghostbusters as well. Yeah. So. so so and again i, I kind of wonder you know what because the extreme ghostbusters you know for those of you who haven't seen it it was in the 90s and it was a sequel kind of a, i think it was a sequel to, to real ghostbusters um but egon was in charge of of uh, uh training a new team of ghostbusters and that's probably what's going to happen with this is they're going to pass the torch that's what everybody thought they were going to do you know the last time was do a, a torch passing movie with a new right. cast and it just like yeah. what the hell you rebooted yeah, ghostbusters yeah i don't Nobody know what that us. was so Nobody back to the important us. thing which is we're talking about star wars so yeah well i'm just saying i i i'm beginning with star wars okay and ghostbusters was a huge oh, this is bad wait what's that wait that's what she's saying no uh, right here Dave Filoni created a time warp in Star, Star Wars, Wars Rebels. Rebels. They could use this as a way to say new trilogy never happened. I didn't watch all of Rebels. I don't no, know if they're that stupid. Because if they go that, if they go that far, time travel in Star Wars, no. But no, but I mean, no. no what I'm saying is, I don't think they would ever say the new. I mean, they can say the new trilogy. They're not going to say the new trilogy never happened because they're going to say that never happened because it's their trilogy. So of course they're not going to say that never happened. Yeah, I think. Um, What's it? We, we cannot go back and get all four Ghostbusters. It would be great. No, I'm not talking about Ghostbusters. I'm talking no, about Star no. Wars. I was talking about Scott oh, okay. Pickering. But I'm just saying, I don't think they would have put all this money into it. They might go back and say The Last Jedi never happened, but they're not going to say that all the new movies didn't happen. Yeah. I mean, they could in a perfect world. I, they're I, not going to do that. I think, <laughs> so. I think what the, the way to handle it is probably wrap up this sequel trilogy and then wait a while <laughs> and then come out with another trilogy that maybe takes place like 100 years after Star Wars, like, and then it's just kind of a fresh, like, oh, and talk about the legend of Luke Skywalker and Darth Vader and all that, and don't really, don't really have a direct, you know, connection. I don't know. I don't know if that's going to do well either. I don't know. The Skywalker's just kind of falls. But anyway, no. um, so, yeah, well, no, that's not true, because I guess um, uh, Rogue One was good, so, you know. Yeah. But no. anyway, so, anyway, do we have anything else you want to talk about, or? Not really. We just wanted to go live with this one, guys, because it is, you know, we were actually going to do a video on it. We were debating how to handle it, because we didn't have all the information, to be honest. People were right. like, what about Disney stabbing this guy back? And we did not have the information. Then I read the Newsweek article, and I'm kind of like, this is actually pretty standard. This this is what, this is a very standard copyright claim. It's just kind of crap that he already had an agreement you know, and now it's resolved. So, um, I don't know. Yeah. Before we know. got on here, it got resolved because we were just, we were getting ready to talk about it and it took care of itself. So apparently it's fixed. Um, I don't know whether it's going to, how the fans are going to do or say about it. He wants it, the fans to go tell Lucas films. Thank you. But, which you know, I mean, I'm like, I'm like, thank you for what you fixed the fan film. What about, what about the, you know, last Jedi, but okay. Go ahead. I have a question. Foster Davy Smith. If you could make one big change to the Netflix Shira, what would it be? A uh, different showrunner and a whole different show. Yeah, I would agree with that. Or just don't, don't do it at all. Yeah, how about a, a Shira that actually was Shira and not just a thin coat of paint of like Shira paint on a whole other story. Yeah. You know, I, that's my biggest thing I change. Um, okay. So we're going to wrap this up. There's a lot of comments guys. And I do, I do apologize. Uh, but yeah, we just wanted to do this video live so we could get it up. Uh, it takes me forever to render a video. So, um, yeah, this that, is faster for everyone. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, anyway, we can hope for the ghost bustering of Shira. Yes. <laughs> that they're going to ghost buster Shira and just skip over this one. Well, I'm going to ignore yeah, it. I'm going to keep buying my, my, my vintage figures and doing videos. Mattel has already ghost bustered Shira. They're not, you know, we haven't we seen don't any toys. Know yet. Well, just, we don't know yet. We might but, know next something next uh, month. It's possible. We haven't seen any toys, and they, they're really focusing on the classic. I think they might Ghostbuster it. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We don't know. All okay, right. guys, thank so. you so much. Uh, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed already. Thank you so much for helping us hit 16,000 mm -hmm. subscribers. We finally hit 16,000, um, which is really awesome. Really awesome. Thank you so much, and we will talk later. Yep. Bye, guys. Bye.